Hello everyone. I recently bought an Apple Mac laptop and I'm using PC, so I'm using PC and Mac. One issue I had with the Mac's been great, but I had a slight issue of latency or delay when I was recording. So I tried to record a chord and there was a little bit of a delay when I recorded. I thought initially it was the audio interface, but it wasn't. It was a couple of plugins that I had to um, take out my template and put back into the template. It was a Sound Toys one, if I remember, and um, Amplitude or something like that. But the way I found this in the end was checking the plugin latency. Now, a quick way of doing this, if you F3 to get your, um, your mixer up on Cubase, can you see here I've got two channels here. So, I'm, and I've just chucked a load of um, plugins here. We can't actually see, so in my inserts, you can't actually see what the latency is for each plugin at the moment, or each channel, should I say, until we go up to the top right here in Cubase. So, into Setup Window Layout, can you see right at the bottom here, you've got Channel Latency. We're going to tick that on, come out of there, and then can you see at the bottom here, we've got the latency for each channel is displayed. So, you can imagine if you've got... A lot of different plugins or a lot of channels running this latency for each channel will be shown now what cubase does is compensates for the latency so you don't actually it will mix it all up so it uses its processing power so when you listen back it everything's played in sync it's all played at once so it compensates for this latency but it can be an issue if you've got something like a plugin well i had the issue that a plugin was causing a slight bug in the in the way this latency was really high down here so it was it was reading really high so all i did i think it was amplitude or whatever it was i took the effect off and you see already that's only dropped a couple of points of a millisecond but on my template because i took my template from the pc to the mac it was much greater anyway it's one way of sorting out if you're getting a latency a slight delay when you're trying to record and it's not the interface it could well be the plugin a plugin causing a bit of an issue a bit of a bug in there so checking the latency times isn't a bad idea. So top right, channel latency, and it's down there. Don't forget, you have to have the mixer on to get channel latency. You won't get it. I don't think if we got it up here. So no, it's not there. So you've got to have the mixer on, F3 for the mixer, channel latency, and check that out. That's great.